Welcome to another episode of the Headlight Restoration Pro, where I'll be showing you things about this little piece right here. And, um, you know, why I get so many questions about it, and how do you get it, and where do I get it, and all that stuff like that. Stay tuned. You see, it's always the same. There's no stopping what can be stopped. No killing what can be that's killing your people and mine. It's from the other side. Let's get down to business. Okay, so let's get technical. The terminology used on this is going to be a three-inch hook and loop drill attachment. Okay, that's what the name of this piece is, okay? And sometimes it comes with this pad on it already, glued to it, and sometimes it comes uh, without that pad. So if you take that pad off and drop that um, that sticky uh, Scotch-Brite uh, type uh, uh, Velcro down, uh, that's what they usually come as. Um, where do I get them? Well, here we go. Um, these are a couple uh, test kits. Some of them not ever open or whatever. Um, I'm going to get back to that sooner or later doing some reviews. Um, it's just hard to get them done um, just because it's like uh, it's kind of like if you uh, paint masterpieces, right? If you paint Van Goghs and, you, you know, you paint murals and stuff and then like you have to show people how to, uh, you know, draw stick figures it's kind of like pulling teeth for me so i mean to get back to it because uh not one kid on the market is going to have anything on a professional method especially my method okay and that's that's real talk any method from a pro on the internet is going to be far better even if they use things that i don't approve of it's going to be a thousand times better than any kind of kit so uh once again uh, before you use a kit definitely try to get a professional because some of these kits are very expensive 40 30 dollars that you see in here um and you know you could put that towards a real headlight restoration uh you know uh double that you're almost there to a full headlight restoration from professional and it's always going to be so much better i don't care what's going on if they do something that i don't approve of they use 2k if they do whatever if they only do one step if they're a professional business their headlight restorations will always come out better than a headlight restoration kit um so anyhow but for the do-it-yourselfers where I'm getting these from uh, in the past, okay, is I just buy a kit um, that's a heavy duty kit, right? Like this one. And this one even has the actual drill that I use and the backing plate in it, okay? Um, the ones heavy duty that don't say, um, as you saw in the beginning, some of them were heavy duty, but they had a hand thing. The true heavy duty kit is going to be um, with a machine grade one because heavy duty will need machines to eliminate all that stuff nine times out of ten and they come with them okay uh these technically are considered to be the cheap ones but for me i like them better uh like i said technically uh and i always tell people because i get so many questions throughout this year or two of me doing these videos uh what is that piece what is that piece it's not listed in the bio because technically are you ready for this they don't really sell them. Okay, they kind of sell them, but they kind of don't. If you could find it, you, you're definitely spending a couple minutes on the internet trying to search and find it or whatever. Um, and when you find them, they're so ridiculously expensive, okay? And they're not, you know, usually uh, not, sometimes not what you want. Uh, this one has one in it, of course. I'm not going to open that just because I don't feel like opening it. Uh, these are all brand new kits that I haven't, uh, you know, had time to go over yet. Um got to get to the junkyard. I want to get some new lights to go over them with. Um, but anyways, as you see the picture, it'll show you on the kit uh, which one is a true heavy-duty kit and which one, you know, is not. So with that being said, um, I have a bunch of them left over throughout uh, the years of whatever. Uh, they last pretty long. I mean, the actual meat and potatoes, the frame of the stuff, the, you know, the little metal post and the plastic last pretty good time. What happens is the pads don't. And um, basically, when you find them online, what you're mostly going to find um, nine times out of ten, maybe ten times out of ten, is going to be the version 
of these without the pad affixed to it, okay? It's just going to be this little shank here, this little shank with the plastic and the Velcro glued directly onto that where you can put an interface pad on it because essentially that's all this is, is that uh, three inch shank uh, with the plastic piece, uh, shank meaning just that metal thing right there, that's what they call it, <laughs> a shank, um, with a Velcro on it, okay? With, excuse me, with a interface pad glued to it. That's what these are, okay? Um, they're considered to be throwaways uh, just because, uh, you know, when they glue them down like this, okay, um, they they just go bad. You know, the um, Velcro goes bad or the, the padding itself gets too smushy or too broken in, um, and it just gets too soft to really use, you know, correctly. So, uh, you know, your, your discs start sticking and everything is floppy and whatever, so they go bad. Um, then they, um, you know... Uh, you know, you got to replace them or whatnot, but everything else is good. So I save these and are you ready for this? I build my own. Okay. Why do you build your own? Because, uh, you know, to get the kits that you, they usually come with are, are more expensive. Okay. They're, uh, in words of 20 bucks, sometimes more. Okay. Although, uh, you know, it's still worth it because when you buy one of these, it is, um, when you get one of these, you know, that way you get other stuff with it too that you can use during a headlight restoration. You kind of like when you're hunting, you know, you hunt a, a bison, you're going to use everything down from the teeth to the horns to the, you know, to the booty hole, right? A real, a real hunter, right? So I use all that stuff and make money off of it. Okay. Like that, you know, I make, you know, I make a living. I don't get a kit that I don't use the shit for, you know, use everything in it for, right? But just got a product order. Um, this doesn't really have much to do with the video, except that you should use gloves while doing certain parts of this when you're dealing with the super glue. Um, I don't, um, I just because I'm really careful and I'm experienced with doing these things. Um, uh, but those are the actual gloves that are uh, in the bio. They should be in the bio. Those are actually gloves I use during my details and um, whatever else. Uh, I don't like using gloves for headlight restoration uh, because there's really no necessarily, uh, there's no need. There's nothing that's going to get on your hands. And it, I like to feel stuff. So in this product order, I got a couple bags of the interface pads because I planned on doing this. Uh, it was about time to do it. I do it about every six months. Uh, with that being said, I do about five or six of them. And each one of these spindles lasts about a month will last probably about 20 30 cars okay uh, depending on um, what cars you're doing uh, of course they get really beat up when you're using uh, when you're doing one of those crazy Kias or one of those big lights uh, from a truck or something that you're just hammering down they get beat up more when you're using uh, just you know regular cars you know Lexuses Toyotas and stuff like that stuff that just comes off good and whatever uh, they don't get beat up that much so they last like about a month apiece so in the background there, you see a couple things that I'm going to be using. And also, this came in my product order, okay? Um, all these things that I'm using, uh, the main things like this, are going to be in this video. Probably this video only. Okay, um, this is a 3-inch Velcro uh, pad, okay? It comes with about 30 of these in um, a kit and it's fairly inexpensive okay and uh, of course when you separate it like that you're only going to be using one side the velcro side and also they are self-adhesive which means they have this adhesive here once you pull the sticker off that is super sticky almost like a glue and this is what I was trying to explain to people uh, when they ask. I'm like, it's not in the bio. Like, I really can't go into it. Or I'll be like, um, there's far better things, um, this and that, blah, 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 and easier things to use, whatever. Uh, but I've literally, for the past two years, been making mine. Uh, once I uh, developed enough of these uh, through getting... Um, the uh, kits or whatever, you know, just literally getting the kits to use to take this thing out. And I just throw the kit up on my shelf. <laughs> so, um, the heavy duty ones or whatever, but I literally for the past two years have been just building these. Okay. Um, and, uh, this is a very sharp, uh, sturdy knife you want to use. And when you're doing this, this is a warning. This is a cut hazard. You don't want to cut your fingers off. I cut my fucking finger off trying to be the headlight restoration pro. I know what to do. And I, you know, I've been a chef. I've been a baker, all this stuff like that. I know to keep the knife away. A lot of people don't. So warning, uh, watch how I do this. I have my fingers behind, uh, uh, the the um 
the plastic thing, which is protecting me. My whole hand and fingers are behind that. And I'm pushing away from my fingers and down. Okay, so there's no cut hazard for me. If you do this correctly, you will not cut yourself. If you do this incorrectly or just just dumb, you're going to cut yourself. So be very careful with that. I'm just giving you a warning. So what you want to do is get most of this uh, stuff off, all of this stuff off. Your goal is not so much to get all of it off, uh, but to make it flat and flush. Because what we're going to do is stick that uh, sticker on and we're also going to glue it down. Because we're dealing with a lot of RPMs when we're using one of these, you know, a uh, max of 1700 RPM. And if you times that uh, by the pressure that of pushing and the pressure of uh you know resistance of the light it even goes higher than that far as pressure so we're just for a little extra i glue it down with super glue or um the other gorilla glue and i'll show you why i have two different glues coming up in a minute and uh, back to what I was saying, uh, people like this and that, uh, uh, what is this, what is this? One of the biggest questions I get, a lot of times I make videos off of uh, the fact that I get a thousand questions for one like topic or one thing, right? This is one of the ones from the beginning I got topics I didn't know how to elaborate or explain it to people, uh, but these are considered to be the throwaways, okay? I'm kind of, I'm a craftsman, I'm on a, I'm on a different level. You can be on this level, but you know, you don't necessarily have to. You can just keep buying it for kids or whatever, but I try to maximize and save my dollar okay uh like you can buy what i'm making this one there's two different ways okay to make these and there's two different ways that they come uh you know far as from the factory or whatever or from um a kit or whatever so uh one of them see how i knew that this is just an old p500 i'm drilling all that stuff down heating that uh leftover glue up okay that's all it is is glue but i'm making sure it's flat and flush because you want uh an even flat uh surface when you are working but yeah, I didn't know how to explain to the people and this and that, and pretty much um, I'm like a craftsman of these things. I make them, okay? Uh, there's two different ways I make them, and there's two different ways they come. See how that? See that's just glue. It's sticky. Okay, there's a little residue left over. It's sticky. That's fine because you want it. You want to shit the stick on there, right? Um, but these are considered the throwaways, um, and there's far better ones like these on the internet. Um, there's far more better ones. They come in different sizes. They come in different shapes. They come in, um, I mean, literally you get a one inch. Uh, I have packs in the garage that I never really use anymore that have like a one inch attachment, a two inch, a uh, three inch, a four inch that have different sizes of the same thing. And you can just take the post out, screw them out, and uh, screw them into each other. And there's far better ones that are far cheaper and far less labor intensive. I like these just because they're extremely light, okay? They're extremely light and they're extremely uh, well balanced. And it's and it's uh, like, when I say light, I mean not just light in weight, but light in material, okay? Because some of the other ones are just as light, but they have more material. And I just am accustomed to these ones that are almost non-existent. Okay, that's why I like to use them. They're almost non-existent in comparison to the other, but they are considered just throwaways. Uh, but with um, this ingenuity here, you can rebuild them and uh, make more for much cheaper. Because uh, once again, when you do find them, and, and I, I urge you, go ahead and try to look them up. It's uh, called a three-inch hook and loop drill attachment and you'll see all the ones that come up whatever you're not going to see too many of these but when you do find them you're going to be like holy shit because some of them uh, most of them are anywhere between uh i don't know around 15 bucks a piece all the way up to like 30 dollars 40 dollars for one for one of these that i'm making right here you know and they don't really sell the other way of making them which i'll show you in a minute the fixed pad ones so it's ridiculous to try to find a place to just, uh, you know, sell you a couple of these with, you know, with it being it that much, you know, at some places you'll buy three and it'd be like damn near a hundred bucks. It's just ridiculous, uh, money. That's why I said like, you know, I, in the beginning, I got a custom just to buy different kits or whatever and see which ones have them. Uh, one of my go-to ones was the Harbor Freight one. Uh, some of these are from the Harbor Freight kit. And I just go in there and buy it for fucking 15 bucks and, pull the shit out and you know throw the other kid up in the in the rafters or whatever or, or strip all the pieces and parts and use them for head restoration but this is a uh, one method here and with this method um these ones last really long why because look it's already it's not even dry yet but it's so sticky the uh, between the super glue and the sticky stuff um i can already show you here without waiting 
But nevertheless, these ones last a long time because when the pad goes bad, okay, when the pad goes bad, what do you do? You just take it off, right? You can take it off and you have like an internal uh, three uh, inch hook and loop drill attachment. That's one way, okay? And I'm gonna give you a scale of one to 10 in efficiency, okay? On a scale of one to 10 on efficiency, this one is about, a, I don't know, 7.5, okay? Why? Um, because uh, it, it basically is, uh, you know, hook and loop detached with the Velcro, okay? And the Velcro gets a little weak, what's, whatever, and the pads get a little mushy, whatever. And you got a little lift off in certain areas where you're doing certain things. But overall, it's about a 7.5 in my book, um, uh, this method okay the overall 10 method is going to be the ones that are affixed to it and that's partial reason reason why they affix it to it um it it's um it's a it's a hair bit more stable because it's glued down to it okay only thing with that is once you hit you know uh seven eight nine ten twelve cars um done you know the pad is going to be dead and worn out that's why i have a bag full of them right the pad's going to be worn out and you're going to have to get a new one throw it away or whatever or get a new one um and when you want to have that one working and good at top efficiency you're gonna have to cut all that shit off and go through this method that i just did which is worth it i mean uh, definitely worth it saving 15 uh bucks in five minutes of work right and uh, of course i'm slowing down on here because I'm uh, recording or whatever and trying to show you guys what I do, but I pumped out, uh, you'll see here in a minute, I pumped out about f uh, five of these in about 30 minutes. So, I mean, that's a good time, uh, you know, and here, here you go. Here's four of them just like that. And these will last pretty much forever unless they break or whatever. I've only had a couple break in my time and it was usually, uh, through uh, other shit or negligence or something weird that I did, like, uh, you know, I dropped my drill or something like that. And that's the only time they really break. I've never really had one break in the commission of work, okay? Never, like, on a light, doing something on a light, boom, 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 and it breaks. No. It was always something silly. Uh, but now, um, I already grind down. This is the fifth one. I ground down this, and uh, this is the other glue I'm using, which is going to be a more thicker and stronger uh, permanent type glue. The other glue is permanent too, super glue, but it's thinner and it, it dries quicker. This one's gonna take longer to dry, but it's uh, stronger. And this is the glue I use to make my fixed ones because I always make a couple of those because uh, certain things, like I said, the efficiency of these ones are much, much higher. And you pretty much glue it down or whatever, and I'll show you something in a minute. Um, and, you know, you just uh, sometimes I make like four or five of them and I just put a book on top of it and just let them sit. Not necessary, but just a little extra pressure. Um, but that's the only two that that they sell. The only two it comes like that they sell. Um, you see, like if you have a little lift like that, you got to make sure you hit it uh, on the outside rim. That's why I glued the outside rim. Uh, first, you want to make sure the outside is done because that's where it starts lifting or whatever. Um but like I said, this one, uh, those ones uh, are uh, 10 out of 10. The other ones are, um, you know, like a 7.5, but they, you know, either anything over a five is, is perfection is good, right? The other ones you can buy through the store that are actually better quality and better, uh, you know, longevity or whatever. Those are like a six, you know, so um, it's no big deal. Um, but those are the two different ones that you can make. And those are the only two ways that they come. So stay tuned. Hope that was helpful. You see? Killing what can be killed. That's killing your people and I. It's from the other side.